Alright guys, what's going on? We got another tutorial this time. is how to remove those tan lines slash uh, sunburn-ness or whatever you want to put here. Um, if you want to remove that, this is how you do it. Um, okay, this is a, a strap line there. I guess that first one was like a bikini line or whatever you want to call it. And this is like a bracelet line. That's what we're just going to call it there. Now this one's just like a real bad burn um, where it's actually burnt to white, untanned skin. This one is just super tan to like extremely blind your eyes out Casper the Ghost white. Um, and then this one here is like kind of a medium. It's got some shadows and it's just kind of a dark medium one. And this one here um, is the one that we're going to start on actually. Um, so we got three subjects again. Remember the three, there's the really bad one, the decent one, and then the um, arm one. I picked three just to kind of give you an idea to watch um, of the three different types of things. Right there I selected the clone tool and now I'm going to just change the size to a little bit smaller. Um, thinking back on it now, I probably, probably should have started a little bit bigger on this one, but because you guys can't see, so the, the, the reason why I didn't do that originally was that the image was high quality and you could see the arm hair and if you were to use a larger clone stamp, it would be a lot easier to tell that you cloned it than if you use something that's smaller, you have more detail and that kind of thing. If it's a high quality image, if it's a lower quality image, which it looks like it in the video here just because of how it converted, you'd never really know. And uh, right here what I'm also doing is doing dots, not just holding it and clicking the line. The reason for that is it does give it a, not exactly the same on top of it. And now I'm kind of going back over and doing lines over the lines um, of dots just to kind of space it out. So Because you can just kind of see the lines there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and kind of do a little zigzag pattern here over top of it just to kind of blotch it out and make it less obvious of those lines. You just want to kind of cover them. And watch out for the shadows around there where you see there I deleted that. <laughs> <clears throat> watch that you want to make sure you correct those properly because um, otherwise it's just gonna look weird uh, and then again just follow the when you're doing the clone stamp I mean it's a very useful tool to know how to use and when you're using it make sure you match the skin that's close to it or find another part of the skin if in this instance the skin that is close to the same color that you're looking for darker lighter in the middle it, it just takes a little bit of knack but it gives you a preview so it didn't used to do that in the past versions of Photoshop, so it's a lot more difficult to use this tool, but now it's pretty simple to use it and straightforward um, and very useful thing to know how to use. Um, I actually forgot to do this on the last one, duplicate the layer here as I did now. Uh, this way you can see your before and after results, and plus you always want to duplicate the layer when you're working on something just so you have a beginning to go back to just in case. And right now I'm going to, um, I just adjusted my uh, pixel size for this one, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Um, again, this was a higher quality image, but also because of the shadow work, I needed to be more <coughs> uh, detailed and able to have more control. And I started down here at the bottom a little bit, and you just kind of—it doesn't matter where you start. You just find a spot where you think you're comfortable. And I kind of just work all over the place. And um, up here in this collarbone clavicle area is the part that demands a lot of detail. You got to watch the shadow work a lot. So play with the sizes of your little clone stamp marker and play with where you're grabbing the clone spot from. <laughs> Be aware that you need to zoom out and make sure it looks proper because if, you're, if it looks all right when you're zoomed in, it doesn't look all right when you're zoomed out, there's a problem because you're gonna be seeing it zoomed out. And also follow the contour of the collarbone, see how they have shadows there and they have another shadow on the other side. Just kind of match them and make it look right to you. It's a little bit of just knowing how to be artsy and just match things and kind of know where shadows go. If you just observe and look at the other side of a person, it's pretty easy because usually both sides of a person are the same thing. And here you see I'm done, just the before and after. Um, but just look at the other side of the person um, for something like this and you can kind of match it up and know where you need to be at. Now this one is kind of ridiculously extreme and I'm gonna use a little bit of a different technique. Those first two were kind of the same. The first one was plain. The next one was um, a little more difficult and shadowy and this one's just ridiculous. And she's got all these stripes on her stomach. She's been laying there too long or whatever. And these freaking and belly button rings. Guys, leave in the comments. Why don't you leave in the comments if you think that's attractive or not? It looks like she has two in this one. I think it's extremely unattractive and it makes me think of a slut and a whore and someone who's easy and I could just get all. It just, I mean, I don't know. It's, that's just me. I think they're not very attractive. I mean, I guess. I'm a blonde with blue eyes who's just a slut is what I think. That's, I mean, that's just me. Leave in the comments if you have a different opinion. I'm going to duplicate this layer again and I'm going to do something a little bit different because as you watch here, I went to go start in the middle and I'm kind of overlaying the bikini line there, whatever that is, uh, with overspray. So I'm going to use the pen tool and make sure I have the 
layer selected that I want and I'm just going to outline the edge of her bikini or whatever this is follow it along the bottom doesn't matter I just want to make the selection large enough and I'm going to feather it just one pixel because I want it to be pretty sharp of an edge but not 100% sharp now if you see this is what I have here um, just cut out <coughs> and that's what I want because now if you watch well make sure you have the right layer selected you don't want the top one you want the second layer though your working layer I should have named them but I didn't um, selected when you're doing this now go back to the clone tool and you know if your if your bikini layer is on the top you won't see this as you see I'm clicking below it right now you don't see it but it actually is appearing there as you see it's covered up so that's what I'm actually doing so that's good because you can get right up to the line there because with your clone stamp you want the feather to be at zero so it's very fuzzy very blended very uh, not not harsh at all and now again I'm matching the shadows of her hip bones there as you see I pulled that line all the way down just because I know human anatomy that's how it goes so pay attention to that you can't really see that defined when she has this tan um, so it's kind of you just got to know your subject before you do it and the rest of this is actually very simple um, other than that I just needed to cut out that line before that was really the only thing I did different and here I'm trying to match this and again I realize I didn't go far enough along the side of it uh, of her like hip there to where I'm getting overspray I guess you could call it to the bikini again in the background and that just doesn't look good so also keep in mind where I'm picking these colors from I did a little bit fast because it was in fast forward but um, and right here I'm just cutting out that other part again and just watch this I'm cutting it out and I have it on top as you see just that little piece on top so it's just on top it doesn't matter you can merge the two or merge them later again make sure you have your bottom layer selected your working layer when you are gonna now use this and the same thing and, and just make sure when you're picking colors here sorry I'm jumping back and forth that you match to the sides of the body or the sides of colors that look the same kind of just keep that in mind um, and now right now I'm going to merge all three of these top layers into my one working layer and finished layer and now that's before and after as you see you just followed the anatomy and I know that's what hips look like so I just knew that's what needed to be done and I saw a little mistake here I just fixed it up it wasn't too just a little messed up line there I'm kind of a perfectionist and this one probably came out the best out of all three of them then the second one and the first one was actually kind of the worst in my opinion but you know you can see before and after of these now and I'll go to the other ones in just a second here and um, just take a look at it and you'll see that there's kind of blemishes when you go to the before and after back and forth you see you can be like man that, that end one looks messed up but it really doesn't it, it you can't tell that because you're not going to see the original so you'll never know unless you're looking for it that it's messed up so keep that in mind if the higher quality of the image the harder it is to do this method and there's other methods of doing this but i hope you uh, enjoy this one helped you out and uh like favorite rate leave a comment for any other tutorials you want to know as well and thanks for watching guys i really appreciate it